Hello. Hello. That's how Zoe Deschanel says it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, are we done? Do we have to introduce? <laughs> no, we don't have we to introduce We didn't say goodbye. Yourself. We said hello. Hello. It's the broads. We're back. Hello. It's a Janet Liz for these these weeks when we get to talk about, you know, we gossip about all the stars. Oh, yeah, well. You know, I'm very shallow. We all know that. And these celebrity shows, I, I live for them. I tweeted through the whole thing. How about you? <laughs> I slept it. I slept it. I slept it through the whole thing. <laughs> I sleep it no, through the whole thing. No, I was thing. busy tweeting. It's fun. That's one good thing. I haven't been tweeting a lot lately, but I do enjoy tweeting during big events. You know, like did the Super tweet, Bowl. I was going to say, did you tweet when we were beating the pants off of uh, Tim Tebow? A, cu a couple. Only a couple. Did it you was jinx so, it? No. You think you jinx it was it? just so darn enjoyable. I didn't have a need to do anything but just smile and watch and drink. It was pretty, I, I actually did um, not tweet, God knows. No. But I did watch a little. Did you? I watched you? the first quarter. Did you? Two touchdowns in the first quarter, well, right? I'm impressed by that. That was just, I, I can't remember the last sporting event fun. where you, I have not given a hoot, worried for a second, bitten a nail. Had an upset stomach, nothing. It was just glory from start to finish. And Tom, you can read all terrific. Tebow this, honey. <laughs> Tebow Tom. No, I, you know, and, I, and I'll tell you, I liked him, Tebow. I do. How I did like you not? Him, Tebow. He's a good, he seems he's like a such phenomenon. a great kid. He's, he's a, a great kid, but you can't mess with Tom Brady. Who's the real god here? Really? I, the thing I like the most about it, honestly, is that all those the build up. All the Tebow build-up, the Tebow mania, the two, Tom and the Patriots just kept quiet. But you they knew kept, they were you know, seething. I know that, and you know what? I think it inspired them. Oh, I definitely. think it, 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 it encouraged them. Tom All was right. like, hello, <laughs> I won three Super Bowls, hello. Anybody how remember you, me? No, how many nobody you remembers it? you, Tom. But now they know who he is, Again. six touchdowns. I know, that was cool. And how about cool. that Rob Gronkowski? <gasps> Are we blessed? Oh my God! And how about that Wes Welker? And how about that? You know, oh yeah, but Welker. he. Oh, they're all fantastic. But that Gronk, he is a beast. He's a beast. He's an animal. <laughs> that touchdown okay. that I actually saw live. The one where he, and then he. Like, and he boggles it. Yeah. And he grabs it. I and then know they that questioned was a catch, it. Though. I wasn't huh? sure that that was a catch. It was a catch. Okay. They hey, I'm not listening. I'm thrilled. What I'm do thrilled. you know? Really, they're standing there. They. I, I know a lot. Damn they it. Know, they know better. I can't wait for this Sunday, though. Bring on the Ravens, although they're good. They're probably ten times better than the Broncos. But That's bring them on. Bring we them are. On. This team is... That's excuse me, there's a bug in <laughs> I'm not crazy. There's just a bug. <laughs> um, and then could you die Dan Shaughnessy today in the Boston Globe? And he's. I think he's right, and I don't always agree with Dan. It's all about the rematch of the New York Giants and the New England Patriots. That's you, what everybody's you, aiming for. Do you remember the, our no. perfect season? No, no you don't. No. Well, we were, you know, we had a 17 and 0 season, and then um, we lost in the Super Bowl. In the right, Super Bowl. we kept winning, 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 and I think what did it get to? What does it get to? 19 and 0 or whatever it would have been. Uh, and then the Giants. You don't remember? In like the last minute, they beat us. Kind of. Oh, that was agony, agony. Oh, that was right up there with, with um, Just Aaron knock on Boone wood. Uh, and, and yeah, the, Bucky the, Dent the, the, and the ball going through this light. And yeah. Bill oh, Buckner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Enough of that. So the only thing I want to the quickly talk about, even though we're going to, we're going to get to the frivolous. Yeah, we'll talk a little of Golden minute. Globes. For, you know, I like to. But talk I wanted about to talk to you about the, this ship, because I'm such a cruise person, and this ship. All Are I can, you still going to be a cruise person? In my mind's eye, I see that ship. Yeah. Tilted over in the water. Yeah. And you know my my biggest fear in life is drowning, drowning. Yeah. in the in the ocean. That's so your it's thing, yeah. in the ocean. Mine is being buried alive. Really? If you ever want to freak me out, <laughs> just throw me in a hole. <laughs> that and really, and, and, and dig for quick Crushing dirt over me. No. Out. But you crazy. always there. I mean, and it's interesting because I like cruising. I oh, love, you love it. Cruising. I know. Would you think twice about it now or no? I don't know. I don't know. It's a very good question. It's a horrific situation. I, I mean, this morning I read the transcript between the Coast Guard and the stupid sh captain. Coward. Coward, who, you know, radios the Coast Guard from the lifeboat. And the Coast Guard's like, N excuse me, get back up there. He's like, I'm not going back up there. He's like, you better damn well get back up there. Terrible. Terrible. Horrible, terrible, The whole terrible, handling horrible. of the emergency by the crew, it sounds like it just sort of 
hacked upon them that the, the something actually might happen. Now I've taken a cruise city. We went to Alaska. Yeah, and they give you the the, the run first the day. Whole thing. I mean, these the first people minute. were already on board and cruising and dining, and they hadn't even had the emergency thing yet. I think they had the emergency thing, and I don't think that the staff enforced it or knew what to do. It's really scary. That's scary. very scary. Very titanic -y. They're right. I mean, that's how it felt. It's just like nobody knew, you know, it's like uh, the three stooges yeah, running a cruise ship. Terrible. Very, 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 very terrible. terrible. Well, and we I'm hope really they find the 28 that. people and we hope the dogs shut up. Sorry about that. That must be your dog. <laughs> Certainly not my dog. We know whose dog it is, by the way. All right, let's get to the Golden Globes very quickly. Let's get immediately shallow. Um, there wasn't a, a Bjork. There wasn't a real standout wearing Stinko, a, you know, a looking like a spider, looking like a swan. I mean, the closest was, t was Tilda Swinton, who's always, you know, a little wacky, with her hair. Did you see her hair? Yeah, I said, I tweeted that it looked a little like uh, Princess Beatrice's fascinator. <laughs> <laughs> but it was her hair, not a hat. Uh, so that was a little strange. But no big, you know, no dress that made no, you go, are you really good. kidding? Yeah, did yeah. you have a mirror? Which you always say at some award show. What did you think of Claire Danes? That, that seemed to be one of the more controversial ones. I liked, I lo well, first of all, I love Claire Danes, period. And I'm so thrilled that Homeland won. won and that she won. I love yeah, that was exciting. She did, didn't face me. I open mean, back, I loved it. Yeah, but I, I thought it was fun. It. They hated it. I didn't hate what it. What I didn't like either, I mean, you're right about the dresses. No hairdo stood out. No. Nothing terribly stand out ish. No, nothing. Although everybody Angelina looked Jolie, good. I mean. Oh, everybody is just like they could all wear a burlap sack and look 10 times better I know. than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sad truth of it all. I mean, we sit here going, no, no, no. And they're dropped in. I don't gorgeous. know. Every yeah, gorgeous, one of them. Every one of them. You know, I don't care if they're big, like a. What is it, Melissa McCarthy? Yeah, she looks I love great. Her. I Octo love her. Octavia Spencer looks stunning. They, oh, Viola Davis looked gorgeous, gorgeous, and I am so upset that she didn't win. So upset about that. I really am going to be Thank devastated you. if Meryl Streep wins that Oscar. Now Why? I have to first because I think Viola Davis, and Meryl Streep just. <laughs> She's had one already. Anyway. Not only has she had one, but it's like, you know, she takes on roles that are almost guaranteed Oscar nominations. Every time she takes them on, I'm going to be Julia Child, she's going to be nominated. I'm going to be Margaret Thatcher, she's going to be nominated. Viola Davis, that was, to me, you, you know, when you look at her eyes, you, you, you feel something. With Meryl, it's very, I don't know how to describe okay, it, I, but I, it feels I, more forced to me. And Viola's was an understated, more beautiful performance. I'll be honest with you, I feel that way about The Help also. I feel the, whole the movie's Descendants not gonna won get, yeah. for what? The it was, was a good, a good movie. movie. It was good. It, it was, was good. good. It was good. And that young girl was fantastic too. Uh, his oldest daughter, George Clooney's But again, I think everything George does is great. So it's, you're it is, right. He's it does not a standout. I don't get the Stacey Keebler. I don't either. But they are obviously madly in love. in love with each other. Madly in love. Although I think he's also somewhat in love with Brad Pitt. Uh, I, I do. Think you're absolutely right. I do. I think in another time, in another world, they would be lovers. <laughs> uh, speaking of lovers, how about Elton John's husband? Yeah. He's is he a little be. bitter? He's mad. He is a bitter man. His but I name. didn't like Madonna's speech and her whole... Well, I, I agree with him that she was a little narcissistic. Madonna's Madonna. Oh, no. that, what is she going to be? Demure? <laughs> She's Madonna. She's over the top. She's all about Madonna. First of all, what is the movie W.E.? I don't know. I it's know. about Wallace Simpson. and. Okay, well, I never heard of it. Uh, and her song <laughs> was wins. very well known, And by you the saw way. what he posted on Facebook? David, yes. it was David Furnish. David he posted... Furbish, Furbish. Oh, Furbish? I have this Furnish. <laughs> don't come to me Close for facts. Enough. Please don't come to me for facts. Madonna winning Best Original Song truly shows how these awards have nothing to do with merit. Her speech was embarrassing in its narcissism. And when um, Elton John was interviewed as he was coming into the awards, uh, he was asked if Madonna, you know, she was up against Elton, and he said she had no effing, there was no effing chance that she would win mm. that award. And, uh, Did he say and Car thing? yes, and Carson Daly, because they bleeped him, and Carson Daly said, um, "Boy, that's you know kind of strong." And he said, "And I mean every every word of it." Oh, really? So oh, he well. was, and then they could, the camera so was on the him. Yeah, he yeah, did. He, he didn't look so good when you do that. 
and now his uh, husband looks bitter, sour grapes, bitter, bitter, bitter. Uh, I don't like the whole. I, I think that's stupid. I don't understand that's, Madonna unless wins. Unless there's some under, under seamy underbelly to their relationship that we don't know. Um, I think Madonna stays above it. Then, uh, but yeah, she, she is what she well. is. She is what she Plus, is. Plus, of course, she won, so that makes it easier to handle well. Doesn't I it? love the artist, but I simply just do not see it as. Best, well, best, I best, think best, right best. now it's down to the artists and the descendants for the Oscar. I know. But Isn't I that thought something? The help, and it's down the help, to the help. Um, George and the star of the artist, whose name I will never even try to pronounce. I'm sure our producer will put it up. Jean Dujardin. Jean. No, that's the girl. Oh, his, his name? Yeah, Jean. Jean Dujardin. Oh, yeah. Um, it's up against moment. them for best it. actor. And then Best Actress, I don't know now, maybe it's Michelle Williams versus Meryl and my poor Viola gets thrown to the curb. But she was nominated, don't poo-poo that. Oh, come on, it yeah, she was nominated. nominated. She deserves to win. Octavia will win, God willing. Jean Dujardin. Uh, Jean Dujardin. <laughs> Jean Dujardin. He won, by the way. He won a Golden Globe. Exactly. So did George Clooney. That's what I'm saying. So now for the Oscar, it'll be it's against the two right? again. Yeah. Well, and I live for the Oscars. And what about the dresses? Did you any dress standouts? Um, I like red. Yes. Anything that well, it, there was is a, red. I thought Julianne Margulies was stunning, stunning, stunning. stunning. and oh, that was God, a purpley. A and Emma Stone also was in that color, also stunning. It was I don't like remember a Emma Stone's purpley, dress. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. But I thought we'll put it up. I the, thought um, I thought Angelina's dress was. Beautiful. To die for. I didn't. I, I, I didn't thought, like her hair. Too, I, too severe. Who did I not like? Um, was it Claire Danes? Did she have the funny no, epaulets? I know that. you did. Is it? What, did she With have the like triangular, the 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 rectangular? You know, open. When you get to be our age, <laughs> the memory. The big cells, blur, right? It's just the memory is gone. It's so annoying. I used to be really sharp. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not anymore. I'm just addled. Oh, uh, Charlize Theron got a lot of highs for she, her dress, and I found it very confusing. I, dress. I found her, but she she can do no wrong yeah, in my mind. Stunning, stunning, she stunning. She can do no wrong. Whatever she does, it's like perfect and yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, just gorgeous. But my vote is for Julianne Mar Margulies. The dress, yes, the purple dress. Yes, 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 yes. Really? Yes. I, I, yes. I don't have a favorite, and that's unusual for me. No, it's the one I like. So I'm going with it, and I'm sticking, sticking with it. it. Yes, oh, Ariba. Well, that wraps it up. There it is. Golden Globes, a little cruise accident, and the Patriots. All in one. Go Pats. Go Pats. Sorry for any of you who live in the capital area, but go Pats.